G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you be notified when I drop that heat. This video is sponsored by my boy Fast Classic, his mixtape is in the description box, it is absolutely free, definitely give him a download, give him a listen, and this video is sponsored by my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at we or from. Now... If you've been living under a rock, then you should know that Dillian White had a positive drug test for being on, on, on the finest juices. Now, there's a lot of things going on with this situation, and I'm waiting for more information. So I haven't gone off on Dillian White as of yet. Uh, there's a few questions that I would like answered before I officially go off on Dillian White. Now, he was cleared to fight against Oscar Rivas after the positive drug test. They had a hearing and the board actually approved him to fight. And... Dillian White even said it. I was cleared to fight. And I won fair and square. Eddie Hearn also said if a fighter is cleared to fight, then the fight is on. This is not the first time this has happened. I know there's a lot of people that are upset with that situation, and I'm upset as well. But a, a lot of this don't pass the smell test from all angles, from the Dillian White angle, the Eddie Hearn angle, the drug testing agency, that angle, the commission that approved Dillian White to fight after the drug test. A lot of red flags, a lot of fishy things going on with this situation. So we've seen this before with Danny Garcia and Eric Morales. Now, Eric Morales, he was at the, you know, Brazilian Steakhouse with Canelo Alvarez. They both had the uh, contaminated meat. And, you know, he he tested positive. It was the same thing that Canelo Alvarez tested positive for. And they had a hearing. Danny Garcia had the option to not take the fight. Danny Garcia's dad said, no, we're going to take the fight. And Eric Morales was cleared to fight after the positive drug test. So I don't want people to say that this is unprecedented. It's never happened before because it has. But it goes back to what I've been saying recently how flawed is your system for you to still be able to perform and do your job after you tested positive for a banned substance? In the NFL, if you get tested positive for a banned substance, the only way you're able to still play is unless you appeal it and it goes through an appeals process. But outside of that, you're suspended. Baseball, same thing. It's like you're suspended for like 80 games or something like that. Basketball, same thing. In no other sport can you test positive for a drug test, walk into a room and explain yourself and say, oh, okay, you, you, you can go ahead and fight. Go ahead. It's, it's cool. It's cool. You can go ahead and fight. But the biggest thing with this whole situation is that Oscar Rivas and his team didn't know it. They weren't told that he had a positive drug test. They didn't give Oscar Rivas and his team to decide whether he wanted to actually fight or pull out of the fight. That's what makes this situation so fishy. At the end of the day, if they wanted to clear that man to fight, 
fine. But the fact that they didn't tell the other party is the part that's the head scratcher. So I don't know of anything that's been said by Eddie Hearn, Dillian White, or any of the reports that came out is true. And that's why I haven't gone off on Dillian White yet, because this whole situation looks fucked up. And I need to get more information. But trust me, I will be going off on Dillian White in short order. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.